Hi everybody, this is a review of the Pelican MPD40. It's a 40 liter convertible duffel bag. And uh, Pelican uh, states this is a uh, impact weather and security protection type of bag. Now, uh, this from utilizing it, it is a quite hefty bag. Um, the material here is a uh, nylon shell, but it's also coated with a water resistant uh, coating. And that's a 1000D nylon shell that they're utilizing. Uh, what that means is this is not uh, waterproof. Okay, it's water resistant, so there's a big difference. If you wanna go white water rafting, if you're gonna go in a river, or if you're gonna go somewhere that's gonna include uh, a, a downpour of water, uh, it may not hold up that well. So this, this so keep that in mind. Now, the great thing about this bag that I uh, noticed is um, these zippers here are uh, PU coated. And what that means is, is it has a huge ability of keeping the water out, as you can see. Now, that's with this zipper. And then another thing is it just hooks up right here with this thread. So it doesn't come on loose, uh, unloosened. Another thing is it has these padding uh, areas right here. It's a ballistic nylon they had placed right here. Not bad. It's a pretty durable material. Uh, has a good feeling to it. Uh, coming to the other side, you've got that same... Uh, you know, PU coated uh, zipper uh, with the hook that goes right there. Um, even has the logo, the MPD40 right there. Um, another ballistic nylon cushioning area. No zippers on this front. Uh, let's go ahead and flip it over. We've got a little reflection Pelican uh, logo, as we can see here in the front, uh, which is great for, I guess, nighttime where you're walking. Uh, the shoulder pads itself are pretty, pretty thin. I mean, they have a little bit of uh, cushioning, not too much, which is, you know, pretty good. Uh, the back, uh, there is no uh, breathability in terms of like a little uh, gap, so your back can, you know, breathe a little bit. So uh, if you're wanting to wear this, and I've worn this for a couple miles, uh, it's not gonna be the most comfortable. Uh, I had, a, you know, about 15 pounds worth of items in here laptop charger, some paperwork. Not that heavy, to be honest. Uh, 15 pounds is not heavy at all. And uh, it was irritating after the first mile. So just keep that in mind. And I have worn other book bags and duffel bags uh, for more than a mile with like 30 pounds and it didn't affect my shoulders or back. And I think the reason why is because these, uh, you know, shoulder uh, or, you know, shoulder bag, forgot the name of it, this blew my mind, can't believe it, but uh, shoulder straps are so close together. As you can see here, it's a very, very narrow spot. And, uh, you know, they really dig into your shoulders. They really dig in, uh, which is a huge downfall. Another downfall of this bag is when you're, when you're not wanting to utilize these shoulder straps, okay, you go ahead and you unbuckle it, which is great. Let's go ahead and unbuckle it here. And the great thing is when you unbuckle it, the buckles here are pretty, uh, pretty sturdy, so they have a great feeling to it. The only downfall is, where are you gonna put it? You're gonna have to put it right into, into your main compartment. And what's, what's gonna happen then? You're gonna have a huge gap where com you know, components or water, you know, anything can come into this area right here. So it's a, it's a huge downfall in terms of the uh, design and the engineering of this bag. Um, Another downfall is, uh, as you could tell from the, the zippers uh, right here, uh, you know, they're, they're kind of closed off in terms of the water. Now look at these zippers, complete opposite. So water will get in here. And that's why this bag is uh, water resistant and not waterproof, okay? So just keep that in mind. Now, it's pretty hard opening this up, but let me go ahead and try right here. Unzipper this. Sorry about that, folks. So the image quality. Apologize. Uh, have doing it by one hand, so it's kind of tough here. Um, but as you can see here, this is inside the bag. A great, great feature is this Velcro is very, very uh, snug. I mean, to to take it apart, 
They actually use a very good Velcro material here in terms of sticking it together so your laptop won't be flying around. Another thing is this fabric material is great in terms of not scratching the laptop when you put it in here. Uh, this can be careful that it's only one sided. This other side is like a, you know, plastically type of feel. Um, you've got another component here in terms of putting maybe, uh, you know, dirty clothes or whatever, other items in this compartment. Uh, basically it's going in and then you've got another, uh, area here if you want to put your cell phone or you know whatever it's great um, and that's about it you know that's that's basically the internal compartment now you're able to uh, put a lot of items in here uh, no problem but like I said with the shoulder straps huge huge issue now you could put it in here but then again you get the same issue right you've got the same issue in terms of water or contaminants or other other things just getting into it because as you can see here this is even worse off is a fabric material right so if, you know water or you know contaminants or particles whatever it gets in here and you can't pull this out this is basically is kind of stuck to it you can't pull it out and clean it uh it's gonna be very very difficult very difficult to say the least you know um so that's, that's just one huge, huge downfall uh, with this bag, um, is, is taking those shoulder, uh, shoulder straps and just putting it away. Now, you know what, if, if, if you don't want to put it away, you can actually put, you know, and I think that's, this is what the design was made for, is you put it together, you strap it up, right, you strap the both things up, and then this sits on the outside, okay? And that's, that's how it works. Now, for me, when I if I want to be able to check this in into, um, let's say like a like a luggage checking in luggage and kind of putting it in a, a stowaway, you know I don't want components like this kind of flapping around, and the reason why is because uh, one is going to be prone to tearing or abrasion over time, um, especially with uh, this the bag getting dirty, you know these these components getting dirtier. Uh, you know, I, I just don't want to deal with that. You know, I, I don't want, uh, you know, things flapping around. I want them kind of stable. I want them, if you want a clean bag, you want them, you know, stowed away. And a lot of duffel bags do that. And so I'm really surprised this one doesn't. Uh, they could have done it with this because, uh, you know, it wouldn't be that hard to have, let's say, uh, these components kind of, you know, even have a, uh, another part to it where instead of going to the main compartment, maybe have a little slit right here where you can just put that in there. You know, a lot of duffel bags have that, and uh, this one doesn't. But in terms of the quality, in terms of uh, how it's been built, uh, it's a great quality bag. I think this will really hold up uh, for many years to come. Uh, it's a pretty lightweight bag. Uh, I wanna say it's about uh, four to five pounds. It's not that heavy. You've also got this little rubberized material right here. Um, it doesn't reflect, you know, like the Pelican logo as much. I mean, it's going to have a little reflection, as you can see, but not as much. I think this is purely for, uh, let's say, if you have a, a slick surface of water, it doesn't slip off. Maybe this sits there, right? Uh, it's like a plastic key. It's not even rubberized. It's kind of like a plastic key type of uh, feeling to it. So uh, I think that's the the reason why they had placed that there with the Pelican uh, on, on the, you know, Pelican logo for one side, okay? Uh, so, I mean, that's basically it with the bag. Uh, I had purchased the bag uh, for about $180, and that's not, that's not shipping or anything like that. That's just uh, the base price, which is like 160 plus tax, you know, it comes out to like a, almost $180 and uh, this bag has been out for quite some time now so it's uh, it's quite expensive to say the least so if you're, if you're wanting to purchase a bag uh, you know you may want to look elsewhere or you can build a stick with this I think it's a great bag and by the way you can have these belts that you can build to pop in and when you pop these in which I'm trying to right now is very very difficult with one hand uh, basically, you can be able to compress it. You can just pull these straps out and you can compress it down uh, so whatever so it doesn't like, you know, expand as much, right? You can have a little compressed bag. So I think that's a great functionality they put into it. Um, 
Again, the only design flaw where, where these straps hanging out, uh, I think it really plays down on the bag. But then again, you know, uh, it may affect some people, it may not. Um, so just keep that in mind. The handle itself uh, is pretty thick and it has some, uh, some uh, compression to it. So it has this good feeling to it. Um, you know, the, the pull tabs have this little rubberized uh, nylon uh, feeling to it, which are, which are great. Uh, you may not be able to put a lock to this. As you can see, this is very, very tiny. And I have, you know, I have tiny locks, so uh, I've tried it with this. Um, very, 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 very tight and impossible to put on there. You may be able to do it, uh, but um, I've tried these mini locks with other bags and they've had no problem with this one. It has been impossible to, to, to lock those... Uh, lock those up um, but anyways uh, this is a review I hope this was helpful if you guys have any questions uh, feel free to post them below and I'll be more than happy to answer them thanks